Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, where upon logging into your device, you're noticing a white screen with a cursor, or just perhaps when you're just browsing your computer, you're just noticing that everything disappears. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is tap the Control-Alt-Delete key on your keyboard, and then select Task Manager. You want to select Run New Task, and then type in Explorer. Checkmark where it says Create this task with administrative privileges. So you can go ahead and checkmark that, and then select OK. And once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here. And you want to open up the Search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. So you can also open up regedit through the task manager as well. So if you're still unable to get into the normal Windows environment here, underneath task manager, run new task, you can type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. And then you could just check mark that option again to create this task with administrative privileges and then select OK just as an alternative workaround for that. So now that we're in the registry editor, you would want to create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the H key local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder in here. Double click on that. Scroll down to Windows NT. And double click on it. Current version, double click on that one as well. Should be a win logon folder in here. Right here. And if you need to take note of our file path, you might just want to pause the video at this time. It's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've went under to get to this point. So now that we're under here, on the right side, you want to locate the shell value that says explore.exe in the data field. It might not say it in your case, but we're going to make sure it does at the end of this tutorial. So again, double click on the shell entry in here, the string value. And then in the value data field, you want to make sure it says explorer.exe. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. If you do not see a shell value in here, you might have to go ahead and create it. So you just would right click in a blank area, select new, and then you would select a string of value. And you would name that shell. And then you would double click on it once you've created that value and then name it explorer.exe, exactly how you see it on my screen. Select OK, and then you would need to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. So I'll go ahead and just restart our computer at this point. So there you go, guys. Hopefully, that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.